Hey everyone, with you Elena Litvinova and in this video we will study how to work with stack and queue. And we will resolve uh, several tasks to understand this approach and how to use stack and queues in JavaScript. This is really a, a good uh, algorithm structures and uh, it help us to resolve a lot of interesting tasks. For example, not use recursion sometimes and use uh, just loops because all we know is that recursions have maximum on stack calls and uh, usually loops each uh, can be much better to use sometimes. And today we will study how to work with stack and queues in JavaScript. And before we will not start our lesson, please not forget to subscribe on this channel, press bell icon and go. Okay, let's start. What is stack? A stack it is a container of objects now which are inserted and removed according to last in first out principle. Uh, it's also called LIFO. For example, when I think in about stack, I usually think about stack of plates. For example, when you wash a plate and put it on the top and each new plate you put insert on the top and after it when you need a plate for food or something else i don't know you just pick up this plate from the top and put it uh, into table it's a stack last in first out last plate we pick up and it's first out from the stack next q what is q uh, q it is um, containers of objects which are inserted and removed according to first in first out principle or uh, FIFO. It means that first in first out. Uh, usually when I think in about queues I think about queues for example into the shop uh, when uh, if your first uh, stay in the queue you will be able to first uh, buy something in the shop so uh, let's try to understand how we can uh, create uh, how we can work uh, with stack or queues in javascript in javascript we don't have uh, these da data structures like stack or queue but we have arrays and usually it's quite comfortable to work with arrays but uh, also we can create, uh, for example, class where we, will, uh, where we can implement different methods. But I mostly like arrays because they are quite simple and have all needed methods for us. Which methods array has? Pop, push, shift, and shift. Let's understand which methods what is about. Pop extract the last element from the array and return it. Push append the element to the end of array. Shift extract the first element and return it. Unshift uh, add, an, add an element or a list of elements to the beginning of the array. So we have all these methods and we can manipulate with them uh, and communicate with our array, resolving a lot of interesting tasks. Let's start to resolve our interesting tasks. I prepared several tasks. It is flatten, polish notation and queue time. And let's start firstly from flatten. Okay, what we have here? I just opened this task from code bars. Let's look what we have here. What is flatten? For this exercise, you will create a global flatten method. The method takes in any number of arguments and flattens them into a single array. If any of the arguments passed in, the, in a, an array, then the individual objects within the array will be flattened so that they exist at the same level as the other arguments. Any nested arrays, no matter how deep, should be flattened into the single array result. 
So, for example, we have a um, list of arguments in this function 1, here's Ari, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there is subarray inside of it, another subarray, and it has to return this array. Also, next example, uh, something the same. As in arguments, we can have everything functions, null, undefined, all possible um, values which JavaScript can suggest to us, even objects. And every scene of it have to become like a flattened array. Okay, let's try to implement this. I prepare a special file uh, where we can try to do that. So, and a couple of tests. Actually, I think I almost copy this, <laughs> so that's okay. So, how we can resolve this task? Uh, when we have this function, we put arguments using commas. Yeah, this is not array. So, if we want to have array, we need to use spread and just here we will have array instead. Also, let's create a result array. We will, we will save our result and in the end of our function we just return this result. <clears throat> so, and here while stack have length, uh, now because we decided to use this um, list of argument like a stack, length, so we will pick up uh, first element from the stack and after it flatten it. Okay, how we can do that? Const L is equal stack shift. It means that we uh, um, save first element here and remove it from stack. Next thing which we need to check if this is array, array is array we need to flatten it in other case and here we will put continue soon we will write here some code in other case we just need to push into result result push this element if it's not array yes if this is array what we should to do we can to unshift it means to put on the beginning of this um, array, for example, if we meet this element, we need unshifted, put on the top the stack, flatten at this array. It means that we just need to do like that. And after it, say continue, so we again return to while, and go through it. And for example, if we have array again here, we again go to this uh, condition, we unshift this element, it means insert into the beginning of this array, and that's it. Uh, also just need to say that uh, you, if we use method unshift, which is from array, we can pass a lot of arguments just using commas, and um, yes put our numbers so let's go next i think uh, our algorithm is already written ready i mean so we can check our arrays let's try to do that and here we need to do uh, just start our function so how we can see this array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 became flattened array. And second one A, B, 2, 3, null 4, C also became a flattened array. So our function works. And if you look at it, it looks really quite simple. There is nothing difficult here. And you can use it for your programs. And also, I know that in JavaScript already we have flatten method, but if you want to write it by your own, so you can use this approach. Okay, go next. Our next task uh, which I prepared, this is Polish notation. 
Let's go on code wars and try to find this Polish notation there. So, okay, evaluating prefix Polish notation. I actually not super remember. Yes, this is exactly this task. Yes, plus three, five. <laughs> okay, go, go to study what it means. Your task is to write on a function calculate which accepts a string with a mathem mathematical expression written in prefix Polish notation and evaluates it. This means that all operations are placed before their operand. For example, the expression 3 plus 5 is written in Polish notation as plus 3, 5. Uh, it means that it has to be 3 plus 5. Look on next example. For example, we have this string. Divide plus 3, 5 multiply to 2. What it means? It means 3 plus 5 divide on 2 multiply on 2. The only valid operations are plus, minus, multiply and divide. The input string is guaranteed to be a valid expression. You can use eval or alternative if you're available in your language. But it is not way needed for an idiomatic solution. So we have several examples which have to work and actually results which we can have. Usually to understand how works Polish notation, it's um, need to understand really something around a stack. So uh, how it usually resolve? We need to pick up, for example, this number, this number. After it we see multiply, we should multiply multiply 2 on 2, last two elements. After it, we have here 4. We have 4, 5, 3. Uh, let's, uh, I, I show you how it works with this example better. You just need to understand how to work with it. It's really quite easy function. So, for example, we go from the end. So, we have 2. After it we see again 2, we see multiply. It means that previous two elements we should to multiply. So we have 4. After it we see 5 and 3. Do nothing. We see plus. What we should to do? 3 plus 5. We have 8. Go next. We have divide. What it means? We should divide. 8 on 4. 8 on 4. So we have 2. We have this result. Yes? Let's check how 12 we have here. It's really important to understand how to work with uh, pr how it's called prefix Polish, Polish notation to resolve this task. Yes? So uh, next is 3 to 2. What we have here? We have uh, three, okay, go next, two, go next. This is number two, go next. After it, we see plus. It means we have to do two plus two. It will be four, three, and we go next. We see multiply. What we should to do? We should four multiply on three. And after it, we have 12. Yes, which uh, also we have examples here. Okay, it's quite simple, yes, uh, just minus 5 plus 5 and that's it. And also, oh, interesting that floats also have to work scheme. Okay, cool. Uh, so, let's go. Let's go, go, go. How we will write this expression? So, when we have this function, we have this string. We should somehow to do from this array. How we can do this? We have actually a uh, space here between each element and we can do array um, from this expression. Expression split by space. So here we will have array which is have plus 3, 5 for example. Yes. Go next. Uh, if we, um, we need to create a stack 
stack which is just empty array because we will push everything in stack and pick up from the back for example if we have firstly if we have number we push into the stack push into the stack and pick up uh, the last two elements and uh, when we for example see uh, plus multiply or divide okay let's try to do that okay we go through while uh, here we go before this array exists length and inside of it what we have we have element which is array pop after it, what we can do? Uh, we can try to create number at L. It means number called number method of L. And if, for example, here we have number, it works also for float that everything will be okay. It will become, become number. How we can check number it is or not? We can use is none methods. So if it not number, uh, if it's not is none, it means that this is number. What we need to do, we just need to push into stack our element and continue. What's next? If this is not number at element, it means that we found our plus, multiply, divide or blah, blah, blah. So, before, what we need to do? We need to pick up from stack last two elements. First element, it means uh, stack pop. And second element, also pop. And after it, to make some, to make some manipulation with them. We can use switch case and check what is our element uh, case is plus break case is minus break case is divide break case is multiply break after it we need to do next thing stack push element uh, not element <laughs> first element plus second element so it means that we um, re resolve this thing for example if, if we have plus we pick up last elements two and two we put everything into back uh, and we summary them and push again so next minus first element minus second element after it divide after it multiply yes and what we will have at the beginning when we finish this cycle loop loop uh, we will have something around stack array with just one element. So let's try to check. Just console.log stack and polish notation. So um, undefine it. Length. Thank you for this mistake. Yeah. Now we have something. So I tried to find ways the sorry <laughs> and actually I pushed here element which is a string I need to push number and because of it I had this error so and if we now just console.log I checked here we have 8122 8122 everything is okay so um uh, should be a really quite careful and to be super concentrated, not make mistake, especially when you try to write this code into the blind. So, and after it, it just, um, we have just an array for, with one element. We have to say return stack from, from zero. 
So uh, let's go through this algorithm and might be better understand how it works if you are still not. For example, we have uh, this um, string yes, here. After it, it will be created an array, which is, let's just console.log array. And left, you know what, just this thing. Multiply plus two to three. So we have array like that. After it, what we do? We pick up from the end each element. So after it, when we and push into stack. Uh, it means if we resume console log stack, let's check what we have here. We have, uh, firstly, it's just an array. After it, inside we put three. After it, three, two into the backers. Three, two, two. When we have plus, we see this plus, we not push any element here, we just pop from the end. It means we pop two and two. And we sum summarize them. I don't know, yeah, this is summarized. It means that we go into this uh, switch case. After it, we have again uh, two value, a three and four. And what we need to do uh, in when we uh, find multiply, we just need multiply them. Here it's quite easy. Uh, if we will try to work with the next element, uh, with the next string, this one, so what we can do here? Uh, we also separate this array, Polish notation, and we split by space this and we will have next array let's to check what we will have so we have array divide plus three five multiply two two uh, firstly in stack we have nothing an empty array but after it we push two two we have two two what we have next uh, next uh, we have operation we pick up first and second element it means that we pick up two, two and multiply them. And our stack has just only four because we push here. So after it, we see another element, five push it to the end and um, third element push it to the end. So we have four, five, three. Uh, what's next? We have plus. It means that we pick up five and three and plus them. 3 plus 5 and we have 4 and 8 uh, and 8 we push into the back and we have divide operation we pick up first element second element and first divide on second and as a, as a result we have two so this algorithm works like that okay go and our algorithm works, so uh, we start uh, this Polish notation 8, 12, 2. Let's check. Not Polish notation 8, 8, 12, 12, 2, 2. What also we have here? Now let's to check uh, this test case as well. So we have here this string. Yes and this string and here we have, have to have zero let's to check everything is right our floats are also work in our function that's perfect so you can we can use this approach with stacks why is this a stack because we push into the back and pick up from the back uh, it means last in, first out, stack um, data structure uh, with arrays from JavaScript. Okay, the next thing which uh, we will try to create, it is need to find max time with queue finish. 
So actually queues and stack it's quite interesting approaches. So I decided just to find task like Z because this is queue with customers. So and what we have here in this uh, function. So we have uh, customers and an amount. Amount of um, cash desks. Can I say like that? Where you can pay for your uh, stuff which you pick up from the shop. So, for example, we have there is no one customer, we have one cash desk. So, we should wait maximum time for waiting, it is zero. And I uh, also need to explain that this number it is amount of time how long this customer will stay on the on the till. Yes, actually this is called seals, not cash desks. Tills is much better. Sorry for my English. So let's uh, try to understand which algorithm we will have. Okay. Firstly, we just need to check uh, customers length. If we don't have customers length, we just need to return zero. In other case, let's create a queue. So const queue. Because I will modify uh, this array with customers, I just duplicate it. I, I don't prefer to mutate data which we have here. Uh, so next, what we need to do to create tills. Uh, how we can create tills? Actually, we can have even 100 tills, but if we just have five um, customers for what we need to create uh, the huge array. array. So uh, here is uh, math mean from customers length and what also n, yes, and fill a zero. So, and we have tills, yes, we have mass mean, customer's length and fill a zero. And yeah, uh, it means that we just uh, create an array uh, with, uh, which will just check minimum uh, customers or amount n. And if it's, we have just two tills, we uh, use two tills. If uh, this amount is much larger, larger, for example, 100, we just pick up a length of customers. So after it, what we need to do, uh, we, we need a, a, a loop. <laughs> well, how we will work with our algorithm? I suggest uh, to go through Q and put it into the till each customer which have uh, less amount for finish uh, before finish for example if uh, we have for example uh, three tills one two three and we put here a customer five yes so next customer we will not put in first queue yes we will put it somewhere here for example this one yes uh, if we have a third customer, we put it here, which is free. If we have another customer, for example, which need uh, four amount of time, we will put it not into first till, we put it into the second one. Because here, how you see, it's quite, I mean, uh, less amount of time here we see. And we will work like that. So, go while customer's length oh not customer's length q length exists we again will pick up our customer customer is uh, it means what it means q dot shift it means that we pick up from the beginning Yes, we have a queue. And next, uh, next, what we need to find a till with less amount of time. So const uh, till mean ID. So uh, it could be just ID tills 
index of and here we need to math mean of tilts so i think like z and we find till our uh, id for till which is has minimum customer and what we should to do we just need to tills of this id set plus equal what plus equal this customer so and uh at the end we have an array with times and depend on how much how many tills we have and what we need to return we need to find max time so we just need to return mass max of tilts something like that and we have to find this decision so let's check zero zero ten ten nine nine five five so everything is perfect actually we even can to check how tills works for example console.log tills how they looks like for example for just zero zero this understandable oh my god let's comment some of them because it's so difficult so one three six ten if you have for example just one till it means that each customer one three six ten uh, we, each customer will be in just into one uh, till so if you multiply everything of that one plus two plus three plus five plus five we have ten next one uh, we have two tills and here we have two zero two two yes we put after it five two we put certain first after it five five yes and four four we also nine nine max time is will be nine and last one because we have uh, 100 tills it is really quite easy just maximum from this array so um save we just have one zero 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 and here is here five five yeah so um this interesting tasks which i prepared for this video i hope this video was really helpful for you and you understood how to work with different algorithms and especially with of course with stack and queues how it's possible to use how to work with these methods shift pop and shift and push in re in javascript and how useful they can be so all this code i put on github as well and if you will have slightly struggle or uh, need to look at it into the code all links i put under this video and of course not forget to subscribe on this channel press bell icon and and like button as well and see you in next videos with you were elena litvinova bye bye